Good morning, everyone. It looks pretty good. Okay, we'll roll it up on here, get it on, and then spin it in place. Who rings on my door? Previously on Living Off Grid with Jake and Nicole. As you can see, I hung our pots up right here. Jake and I, we weren't for sure how it would look, but now that we have it up there, we like it, but it might not be permanent. Um, just like this kitchen setup here isn't permanent. Like eventually we're gonna have actual kitchen counters and stuff. So, but it's nice that we didn't have to alter like or drill anything into the yurt because the holes were already pre-drilled for extra backup wiring or whatever. So we just used it for hanging the pots up, which honestly is really nice right now because we don't have a place for our pots. They were just sitting in boxes. So it's nice to actually have them up to see what we have uh, for the time being. So I think it looks okay. So what do you think? I think it looks great. And like you said, it's functional for the time being. Yeah. But it doesn't look like viral on Pinterest. He's like saying Pinteresty. It's not Pinteresty. Pinteresty. And I'm like, I don't think a man should say that. What that means though is that like I want everything that we have, the kitchen, the loft, yeah. the garden, the wood stove, the yoga qigong area to be Pinteresty. You know what I'm saying? Like 10 million people would share on Pinterest. So this mm -hmm. looks like it's a step up from where we were. Yeah, just to have them out and yeah. not have boxes. Like I'm really trying to eliminate the boxes, but we really don't have any like shelvings or cupboards or anything like that. So. And I love how the holes were already there. Yeah. We didn't have to permanently alter or drill anything so we can easily just take it down. Yeah. I can't reach, so we're gonna get like a step stool because I'm too short. It's okay, I'll just pick you up to oh. get there. Yay. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It looks pretty good. We sponge washed it and got it kind of clean and the grout's looking pretty nice. And the tile's been drying now for about 36 to 48 hours, so we're gonna try to Put a little ramp on there and wheel the wood stove right up on it. Day three of wood brain stove. <laughs> we thought it would be a one day project for us, but the rain got us and then we were short some supplies got us. Yeah. So here we are day three. So day three. But I think we're doing a really good job. Yeah. You were saying, let's wheel this bad boy what? Let's wheel this bad boy on here. Okay. <laughs> You're uh, backwards. I know. Getting in position. How are you um, just first going up? We're going to go up and then we're going to spin it in place on there. Okay. We're going to do this one, so. Let's do this. Okay, we'll roll it up on here. Get it on and then spin it in place and I put some two by fours underneath it so that the tile won't crack in the front. Okay. Oh crap the tile. No way. Just kidding. That's not even funny. Haha, <laughs> psych! That would suck. I win. You don't win nothing. You lose. <laughs> Just stay there on the wood and help me with as much strength as you got on the wood there. Okay, 
slow as can be. We've stocked up and we've got all the pieces that we need to get this chimney in right and to be safe and to be efficient. So the whole goal with this project is to have the wood stove um, function efficiently and also safely, okay? Those two things, efficiently and safely. We want the heat to come into the yurt, dry things out, keep us warm, but we also want to cook on top of it. So we want some good heat on the top for cooking and we also want to have the yurt be totally safe and all the people in it. So it came with that flame view chimney piece, that chromed out piece right there. You can see it in the black piece. I bought that as an elbow. That's a double wall piece of pipe that's gonna elbow over and shoot the chimney out the wall of the yurt. They might be asking if that pipe, if that chimney gets all hot, what's gonna stop it from burning the wood and the material the yurt is made of and just catching the yurt on fire? Well, it's double wall and insulated. So the chimney pipe that elbows over is double wall. So that means that there's a gap between where the hot part is and where the outside is. And the part that's going to go through the yurt is also insulated. Let me show you what that means. This pipe is gonna carry the chimney from the inside of the yurt to the outside of the yurt. So this is gonna go through the wall. And see all this part? The hot part will be inside here. Then there's a gap and it's like a protective two inch gap that keeps the outside nice and cool to the touch. So the part that touches the yurt will be nice and cool, but the part that carries the fire and the heat to the outside will be hot. So insulated pipe. Here and imagine this inside that elbow and tell me, it's all afraid of it's come down. Yes. Life takes more than it gives. I shout at the sky because hyperbole tends to provoke. Once again, we've got the elbow. That's double wall, which is gonna go on the part of the chimney that came with the stove. Then I bought this coupler that's gonna allow me to put two pieces together. So the coupler is gonna fit into the elbow. Perfect fit. And then this is gonna go into the coupler. Also a perfect fit. And then I'm gonna mark right here and cut with tin snips this part of the chimney. And that will be where it will fit into the insulated pipe and go through the yurt. Wow, babe, you are looking sexy. I think I'm gonna be wearing suspenders from this point on every day of my life. Please don't. Turn around. <laughs> are the pants too high? What's going on? These are chainsaw pants. <laughs> You gotta wear them because we're gonna be doing a lot of crazy chaotic cuts and if the chainsaw hits me in here or here, these pants will protect me up to 4200 RPM. That's why I'm wearing these pants. Wow. Let's go outside and get started. Okay.
Hey, how do these posts look? Oh, they look very nice. <laughs> like twin towers? Uh, yeah. And do I uh, have like a floating head? Well, obviously not because... Like the Wizard of Oz. Who rings on my door? Oh, yeah. Remember? The, the gatekeeper into... The actual wizard. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No, he's the one that opens the, the door to Oz. Oh, I thought it was the same person. <coughs> no. Apparently I don't know that movie. I, I do. But seriously, what do you think? I think it's great. It looks really good. It looks like it's the perfect distance, so. All right, good morning. Day four of getting the wood-burning stove installed. And it's going to be finished today. All the cement is dry for... The post that are outside, the hole is dug, all of that, or the hole is cut out. So we just have to put the piping in and secure it, and we'll be lighting a fire today, which is perfect because it is freezing this morning. I can even see my breath. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it's there. It's chilly. Um, it's always pretty chilly in the morning, and then it'll warm up in the afternoon, but... I just can't wait to have it in. <laughs> and our yurt slash house is a complete mess. Boxes and piping everywhere. And so I can't wait to clean that up and move on to the next project, I guess. But also, like, you know, of course, like, enjoy the fireplace and um, take a day or two to just, like, enjoy our work before we move on to the next thing. Which the next thing will be probably the bathroom. Um, so extend or starting on the porch, which will become the bathroom on that side. So just finishing up um, a morning yoga sesh. Um, about 15 minutes I do yoga. I try to do yoga every morning to kind of get the day started and get my, my blood flowing and my bones working and everything. And then now I'm going to make some breakfast. We're going to have oatmeal <laughs> and some hot tea, so let's get going.
Okay, push it again. Is that, is that it? Good job. Look at her technique. <laughs> to go for team one, to take his lead. Ah. Oh, I she bubbled. Ah. Team Blackfish, the Jake is gaining behind. You're psyching me out. <laughs> Will he have enough time to get there? Join us next time on Living Off Grid. Nicole and I need the heat of our wood stove so badly. Are we going to be successful? Come on back to find out. It's really cool here. It's really, it's really nice.